If you are an author and you're looking to get reviews for your book, then you need to watch this video. I recently joined NetGalley. I've been using it for about three weeks now, and I will share with you not only my experience and my stats, but also break down some tips and tricks that I use to help you optimize your time on the platform. My book, Mortal Tether, has eight days left on NetGalley. So if you would like to download this book as an ARC, you go over to NetGalley or go over to the link in my bio and you'll be able to request to download this ARC. 95 people have my ARC on NetGalley, which I feel is really exciting. I'm very happy with that number. 11 people so far have left feedback, but I know that a bunch of people are still obviously reading the book. They can still read the book after the eight days is over. However, my time on NetGalley is going to be expiring and downloads are going to be paused three days before the expiration date, which means that after the 16th, no new people will be able to download the book. Of the people that requested the book, eight of them are booksellers, 11 of them are teachers, and 19 of them are librarians. And, and the rest are all readers that classify themselves as regular consumers. Gally gives you absolutely wonderful data. Let's dive into mine. So your title feedback page looks like this. And if you look at my reasons for request here, I've got 83 people responded that the description is the thing that caused them most to request it, followed by the cover, followed by the title, followed by me, and then followed by, I keep hearing about this book. And it also lets you know how many people would be interested in author interviews and what percentage of people would recommend this book or what percentage of people would purchase this book for themselves or a friend. The review page is super handy. When you click on one of these buttons here, that means that this review that I've chosen here will go ahead and appear on my public NetGalley page for more people when they go to the site, they will see that the review has appeared down here to encourage other readers to potentially download the book. I also did one other thing that I think was really helpful, which was in the acceptance email when somebody was approved to, to download my book, I gave them a link to a page on my website that I made that specifically has images that I encourage book bloggers to use on their website. This is my website, CandaceJarrett.com, and this is the page. So they can have custom Twitter headers, Look at all these Instagram posts that are already done for them. So that way, if they wanted to use any of these pictures on their social media, they're welcome to do that. And then also I have another banner down here. And these are, these are great because sometimes book bloggers, they want to share a beautiful photo or a graphic or an image of a book, but they just don't have time to do one themselves. And also if they read an e-arc and don't have a physical paperback yet, maybe they want to be able to share a picture of it on their social media, but they just don't have the book to take the physical picture. So I think that by just spending some time taking some pictures of your book and making some really nice graphics for book bloggers to use, that is a really nice incentive for somebody to, when they are reviewing your book, be able to have some type of picture to include with that review. Not all of the people who requested my book requested it because I put it on NetGalley. I put it on NetGalley and then I shouted it on Facebook, Instagram, here on TikTok, on YouTube, on all my social media platforms, on X, everywhere. And I told people, I have an ARC on NetGalley. If you would like to read my book for free, please go to NetGalley and go ahead and download it. So this is really important um, because NetGalley has so many books that your book is only on the top for just a few days and then it just gets pushed down, pushed down, pushed down. So new people are very unlikely to find your book on there if you don't say something. In fact, the bulk of my requests all came in in the beginning and then it just kind of fell off a cliff. So I had to myself just push it so that way people knew. Um, so I really liked NetGalley. I would definitely use it again. There are promotion features and stuff, but I didn't use any of those. I literally just got a spot in a co-op for a month and that was it. I do recommend using a co-op because NetGalley is many hundreds of dollars and I got my spot in a co-op for a month for $52.50. So I felt that that was totally worth it. Also, so many of the ARC readers have already told me that they would buy the book for themselves or as a gift for somebody else. And that's absolutely amazing. So I do think that all said and done, there's a possibility that I might actually break even because also the booksellers and the librarians that have responded so far have indicated that they would be interested in getting it for their store or for their library. So that is extremely exciting. I've had a great experience on NetGalley. I know that 
it, you know, it's up and down depending on the genre. I just want to mention this is YA and also dystopian science fiction. I don't know if this particular genre just does better on Netgalley or not, but I thought that that is worth mentioning. Um, anyway, so I hope this video is helpful. If you have a book that's coming up on Netgalley, please go ahead and uh, leave it in the comments. And if you would like, Mortal Tether is still available on Netgalley for another eight days. So hope this video was helpful and good luck everybody on your author journey.